Lance Harris gets a chance to go to the line. 67% free throw shooter. State basketball anxiously looking on here tonight. Probably the worst position to be in is the spouse of someone having to perform, especially a coach. Harris makes it a two-point game. Raw open for three, missed it. Rebound. Law's again. open again. K-State runs at him. Missed that one. Jones. A tie-up. A tie-up. K-State basketball. <laughs> Woo! Billy Gillespie cannot believe it. Law had two wide open looks from the easiest spot on the court to hit a three and couldn't deliver. Well, first of all, he said a great double pick. He's moving to his right. Not the easiest shot for a left-hander, but this is the one you usually knock down. When you have your motion going forward and you step into a three-point shot when the defense has collapsed inside, that's usually when you can knock it down. When he missed the first one, I could, I could look at that and say that was a 50-50 shot. But when he was getting prepared to catch the second one, I thought that is going down. That's exactly what a shooter loves. But for the Wildcats, they're fortunate it did not. The ball bounced out. And then on a very close call, K-State gets the advantage of a jump ball as Cartier Martin gets his hand on a basketball. It's a tie-up. Arrow to Kansas State rather than a foul. And Cartier Martin out of the game with Joseph Jones at the line. So a big break. K-State now needs to get the ball in. A&M will foul immediately. And again, you want to get the ball to Cartier Martin. So many times in these conference games, you can really throw out what happens in the first 39 minutes. It's who can convert down the stretch. K-State has not been good about that. It's interesting. Some other teams in the conference haven't been very good converting down the stretch of late either. Kansas, in fact, Stan, get this. The Jayhawks, one of ten, one and ten, in their last 11 games decided by five points or less. It's just hard in this league to finish off games. And an opportunity here for Kansas State if they can get the ball inbounds and make a couple of free throws. Yeah, you got to watch. You don't. You definitely don't want a turnover because the ball could easily slip out behind a three-point arc and give AM another opportunity. They look for Martin. They get it to Harris. He buys a little bit of time before Kirk fouls him with three seconds left. Now, the key is the Wildcats will be shooting two free throws, and that was so important the last time Lance Harris was down shooting a free throw. He's 7 of 12 in the last five minutes shooting free throws this season. He missed his first one, but he made the second one, and he'll get the advantage of getting two opportunities no matter what here again. All of Gramlage on its feet here as Harris shoots two. One timeout left for AM. Two for Texas AM. And Harris can end all the drama right here. It was Akeem Wright with the free throw on Saturday in the final 10 seconds to make it a four point cushion. Harris trying to do the same right here. The coaches are going to have no trouble then talking about in practice, let's act as if you're at the last second and you got to make a free throw when you're at the line. AM had six players on the floor. Last time I checked, that's a technical foul. But they'll let him get away with it. And meanwhile, Harris gets called to the line to try and knock down this last free throw. Still big because he can make it a two possession game. Will trigger it in to Jones in the corner. Don't foul. K-State wins. Fifty-eight, fifty-four. Another four-point grinded-out victory for the Kansas State Wildcats, who even their conference mark at two and two.
Casey Law was brilliant in defeat tonight and single handedly put AM back in position to try and steal this one on the road. But the Wildcats once again find a way in the final minutes to get it done. And the free throw line down the stretch as Lance Harris hits three straight in the final seconds in Kansas State. Now two and two in conference play, 11 and four overall. And if you weren't here to see it, folks get here to Bramlage on Saturday as K-State has a chance to go three and two as the Missouri Tigers come to town. Jim Oldridge standing by with Stan Weber. Okay, Coach, congratulations. And uh, do you have a copyright on uh, old Big 8 style? 55 points, 50, 60, po 60 point games. Second time in a row you win by four points in the 50s. Well, you know, I knew if we were going to play a good ball game, uh, that's the kind of game it might turn out to be. And, uh, you know, we, we know they, those guys play great defense, and, and we had to match it, and there just wasn't a lot of easy shots available. And of course, we missed a ton of free throws again. You know, had we made a couple more free throws, we would have scored in the 60s. That would have been really <laughs> different for us. Yeah, your ball club had a big lead. You had a 14-point lead, and it turned into a close game because of A.C. Law's outstanding performance. He scored 10 straight. And then you guys had to start all over, and you played well down the stretch. Yeah, you know, Lance made two. I mean, those are the two biggest free throws, that, you know, we've had in a long time. Cartier went up and made a couple of free throws. So, you know, we, we played well. We, we did for this kind of game. I, I got to tip my hat to my guys. I, I just thought they played hard. They played within themselves. We didn't play perfect, but that's a tough team to beat anywhere, anytime. So I'm I'm proud of our guys. It's next up, Missouri Tigers, yeah. another another tough, tough opponent that's playing very good basketball. Yeah. Well, er, every game's going to be that way. Well, congratulations. Nice win. The crowd really enjoying it here tonight. Good. Thank you. That's Coach Jim Aldridge. His Wildcats win another game by four, this time at home. Everyone's going to be tough, and 